Okay, here's a Timco controller. Key on. They're everywhere. Okay, this is Unit 7. To get this thing going, this is the pickup head button. Down, hold it down. So it goes all the way down. RPM's right next to it. RPM, it'll top out at 1800. And broom is on one on each side. Very far into the broom, so it's kind of kind of obvious. The hydraulics on these things are a bit slower, so it takes a while for the brooms to come up. In this truck, you have to hold it for the brooms to come up. Make sure you watch the brooms, make sure they're up. Same with the pickup head. You have to hold it. You can kind of go by feel a little bit. You can feel when it's, when it's not raising anymore, but make sure you can see it in the mirror. This truck also has a camera to get the pickup head too so if you're unsure check that out um, this, this truck also has an automatic switch so pickup head down rooms out you can hit this ASI button and everything will stop you'll see on here it'll say ASI hold and you just wait for a bit the brooms will come up one at a time then the pickup head will come up at the last. And then when that green light is on, what you can do is just uh, go to the next spot, you hit the ASI button again, the green light will go out and everything will start running again. ASI. Don't ask me what ASI stands for. Automatic sucks something something. <laughs> um, your water switch is right here. I've kind of crudely labeled this stuff. Um, so that's your main water switch and all your other water switches are right here. So you've got broom water, hopper water, HO water on each side. That's that's uh, some water that goes down from the frame rails in front of the pickup head. Um, extra hopper water, head water, that will spray out a spray on each side of the pickup head out into the open and broom water again. Uh, your warning light, that's your beacon, broom lights, and your dump switch. So they've kind of protected this around here so that you don't easily hit the open button. Uh, always make sure it's closed well. And then this is your leaf bleeder. It goes open, closed. Um, this truck, it likes to blow out a little bit of the side of the pickup head. So I usually keep it at about a quarter open. That's usually a ceiling issue. This truck has a, another water switch. This will inject water down into your uh, pickup head on the um, on the downside, so down towards the blaster, and that helps with uh, dust a little bit and gets more water into the up tube, into the hopper, to just more water, which is all good. And then your broom tilts, one on each side and your BAH brush, that's your broom ahead, broom assist head. So with that down, you will get the uh, broom moving in your pickup head. It's kind of like the badger broom at the back. Um, make sure you do not drive around and sweep with that in the down position. So if you ever use that, put it, hold it up to get it up in the air so you're not uh, creating a uh, flat spot on it because that will screw up a $900 broom. Yeah, it's pretty, kind of not quite as basic as an Elgin, but it has more options. This truck can do a little bit more. Um, it also has a curtain lift button. So if you hold this in the up position, there's a metal bar that comes down and lifts the front curtains of the hopper. So that leaves and stuff will easily go underneath the hop, uh, or underneath the pickup head. And, uh, but always keep it in the down position unless you're doing, basically doing leaves. So you want it to be down most of the time to keep the stuff from blowing like crazy. And got your light bar there. That's about it.